<clears throat> everybody's back in their own areas, settled down, pretty much sleeping. Of course, Jazzy. So yeah, <clears throat> these toys won't be in the package, but they, um, dogs can see blue. So they really like that rope <clears throat> because they can see the color blue, but they love to chew on the, these ropes too. Same with the tennis balls. The only thing I don't like about the tennis balls is the yellow stuff will come off and uh, they will consume it. So as soon as I see any of them picking at it like that, because it's like they, they, they have to get their teeth right down to it so they curl their lips up to get it. But there's a good chewing toy as well. That's a really good chewing toy. So the, <clears throat> excuse me, the puppy package will have their stinky toy in it and their stinky blanket in baggies. And, uh, you really, I said a week, but more like a week to two weeks, I would leave it in their kennel. Um, you can always change the other blanket that's in there or the cush, because you don't want to just put them in the kennel and not have any cush. You, they have to have something soft to lay on. And... Uh, But I would definitely keep the toy and uh, the dirty blanket in with in their kennel, and they might they, it might take them a a, <clears throat> a week or so before they stop peeing at night in there because they can only hold their <clears throat> excuse me their bladder so long. But they will stop pooping in there very quickly and they poop first thing in the morning so if you get up nice and bright and early you pick them up take them outside not on to soil they don't go on soil until after they get their third shot and then you need to wait for about two weeks for the vaccination to kick in you don't want your puppy to get parvo or anything else because parvo can live in the soil for up to 10 years. But they'll go out, they'll go outside. Normally, I take them out onto the deck, but I normally only have one set of puppies at a time. But Susie and Mika both decided they wanted to. <laughs> well, not really, but you know what I mean. just so adorable this is the best part when they're people ask me don't you miss them when they're gone sure I miss them but I also know that 
the people who, the families who have taken and adopted their forever fur baby is going to have so much fun. I've, I've had clients come back and get another one. So I've, I've got, um, just in the past three or four years, I've got about six or seven people who either took two at a, at a time. I had two people that did that. And the other people have come back for a second one. So, in fact, <clears throat> Gus, in here, is, the big boy in here is going to be going home to one of uh, one of our clients that got a puppy I think about two years ago Yeah, I'd never be the crazy cat lady. It's not that I don't like cats. I do like cats. We've had cats. But I'm not so for, for puppies. Dogs. Mm-hmm. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Bye now.